So this was sent to me by one of my followers, and to be upfront with you, this happened a couple of years ago, but I was so appalled by what I saw, I wanted to share it with everyone. This is Brittany Zamora, a then 27-year-old teacher who was convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison for SAing a 13-year-old student of hers. Now, I can and probably should do a video about this, but that's not the point of this video. Oh no, I've got something just as bad. In fact, it's one of the most despicable things I've ever seen. Let me introduce you to Balin Olmeldo Guerra, who happened to be Miss Zamora's attorney, who decided after she was convicted and sentenced to make a statement, statement which has to be seen to be believed. Now, I want to be upfront and let everyone know this initial video was over six minutes long, and I have taken excerpts from it, but in no way did I change what she was saying. There has been significant misinformation given to the public. Brittany has been wrongfully portrayed by the state of Arizona and the press as being a predator and has even been called a monster. Let me stop right here to remind you that this statement was made after she had been convicted and sentenced for the crime. I have represented Brittany Zamora for almost 16 months and I can tell you that she is not a monster. So someone who is convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison for essaying a 13 year old child is not a monster. Got it. Brittany is not a predator. I hate to break it to you sunshine but as someone who was essayed by a 35 year old woman at the age of 13 I can assure you she's a predator. And this was not between a young young child and Brittany. This was a teenager. Well, someone certainly paid attention in law school on how to manipulate facts and twist things, claiming a 13-year-old is a teenager. You're right, that is technically a teenager, but there's one hell of a difference between a 13-year-old and an 18 or 19-year-old, which is why the consent laws in most states are at least 16 and often 18, and you know it. But that's irrelevant to you, but you're trying to spin this to make your client look good by claiming it was a teenager, knowing full well that a lot of people won't do further research and figure out that it was a 13 year old. Now after this there's several minutes of Miss Gara going on about how this is all an injustice and a misunderstanding and it wasn't fair that Miss Zamora was held accountable for her action. Then went on to read a statement from Miss Zamora. I am here to tell you that I'm not a monster. I am kind, generous, responsible and a caring person. No, what you are is a convicted sex offender. Now I could go on but I hope you're getting the point I'm trying to make. And I want you to ask yourself this. What if the roles were reversed? What if it was a 13-year-old female and a 27-year-old male teacher? Would that attorney be standing in front of a bunch of reporters justifying her client's actions? We all know she wouldn't. Not a chance in hell. Now look, I get it. Attorneys have to represent their clients and should. But to go on the offensive against the victim after the conviction and sentencing? Way beyond the scope. And truly disgusting. And what about all those laws that are supposed to protect victims of SA and R? What happened to them? Oh right, it's a male that's a victim. So those laws don't apply. And I've been in that boy's shoe. And I know some people are going to run around going, he enjoyed it. But let me tell you, he's going to have to live with this for the rest of his life. And he's going to need a lot of therapy. But this attorney didn't care about that. All she cared about was trying to make her client appear to be the victim and the actual victim to be completely disregarded. And we all know she's doing that because she knows she can get away with it because the actual victim happened to be a male.